Yeah, Vivo uh, out here in Hawkstone. So excited. And I'm with the executive chef here, uh, Chef Michael. Welcome to Dinner Television. Thank you. Um, uh, first of all, congratulations. Uh, five years in, beautiful restaurant, beautiful reviews, beautiful uh, layout, how people can see you. I was just talking, I don't know, Nick, if you can turn around, but like literally this is where all the cooking happens, and that's where all the sitting and eating happens beyond. There are tables for sure, but you can actually sit here and take in this fabulous chef. Is that sort of uh, a little uncomfortable for you, or do you love it? Uh -huh. it? It took me a while to get used to it, but once you get over the fact that people are staring at you because they've never seen this before, if they have seen it, it's always been on TV on the Food Network. Once yeah, you get yeah, over yeah. that and get used to it, uh, it's, it makes the job that much more fun. And, and chefs have become like rock stars to us. All yeah, of a sudden, yeah. like you guys are no longer the ones that kick, like hide in the kitchen. No, uh, and no, it's no. because of your knowledge and your passion. Yeah, well, it's people like to kind of hear it from the horse's mouth. So when you talk about food and you talk about things that they do at home that they might may not realize they're doing correctly, they really appreciate that because it kind of kind of makes them feel that much more uh, better about what they're doing, I guess. Yeah, it's um, and so uh, so for those of you who are new to Vivo, if I was to introduce the menu to them, would you say is an uh, what, what inspired by? Uh, it would probably boil down to a three major concepts: uh, Italian, made to order, and local suppliers. Love it. Yeah. Uh, and so this family style, I love. I've literally yeah. walked like ma major charcuterie platters everywhere. But that is the focus of our first conversation yeah. of many with this guy. Uh, and for that, I am forever thankful because uh, there are a lot of things on here I've never seen before. Talk us through. First of all, there is an M word yeah. that we're using um, in refer reference to. One of the biggest, uh, one of the biggest things that we use here uh, is the Mongolitsa pork. So Mongolitsa is a specific breed of animal um, that is known for its lard. Uh, it's a lard animal, and the the idea is um, it creates a lot of marbling within the meat. And that way, it ends up uh, being a lot more tender, a lot more moist. Um, the fat itself is non-saturated; has no saturated fat in it, huh? so it actually melts at a different temperature. It melts at your body temperature, which means that it coats your palates very, very well. Like butter, we really like butter because yeah, it coats yeah. our palate really well. Um, that's what the Mongolese fat does. And so you have this is all from the same. Some of it is, some of it isn't. Um, the only the Mongolese that we have here is uh, called Kudatella. Kudatella is a kind of a cut. Um, it's related to the prosciutto cut, uh, so it's a leg. Cut. Um, but it's a little bit more of the muscle broken down and has been to bone, so it does cure a little bit quicker. Huh. Um, but you can see the nice white mongolitsa fat on there, and it, it, we cure this one in-house. Uh, it takes a couple of months. We salt rub it and then air dry it until it loses enough moisture to be cured. Oh, yeah. Mouth-watering, mouth-watering. Yeah. It looks so good. Okay, moving on. Uh, the next pork product we have here is uh, a salumi that's made for us by uh, Pine Haven Colony. They do a lightly smoked uh, pork salumi here. Then we have some uh, bison uh, sausage here. Um, this is made in house. Um, we take uh, fresh bison, grind it up, and then um, use a little bit of the Mongolitsa lard in there, and then flavor this one with uh, rosemary and paprika. Awesome. Then we also have bison brazala. Uh, so it's another bison product. Um, this is the inside round that has been air dried, uh, soaked in red wine, and then air dried for a long period of time. Uh, we use a local supplier for that as well, Neil at Alberta Bison Ranchers. And um, it's a take on traditionally, it's using beef. Huh. So it's kind of a take on that. Um, the other. Those are the meats. Those are all the meats we have. Uh, the breads that we use for this, we have one type of bread here called a penne sofis. Uh, it's a baking soda levy bread using goat cheese, semi-dried tomatoes, and olives. Uh, we also have a light sourdough here uh, that we make in house as well. Just kind of grill that up. Uh, for our cheese selection, we use uh, the buffalo mozzarella. So it's a water buffalo mozzarella cheese. Um, it's got a little bit of tang to it. It's made fresh on Vancouver Island. Then wow. we just finished that with a little bit of salt, pepper, and olive oil. We have some gorgonzola here. We have a little bit of Asiago cheese. And the other one that we use is an aged pecorino cheese um, from the cheesery. So um, aged pecorino. Pecorino is a sheep's cheese. It's made in a very similar fashion to Parmesan. Uh -huh. And it's made here in Alberta by the cheesery. Um, that gets paired up with a little bit of Riverbend Gardens uh, carrots. They've been pickled, uh, a little bit of Stephen Dan's apples, and then just some, some olives from Nafiz, uh, Nafiz Olive Company. Uh, they're out of, based out of Turkey. Um, Chef Michael, if there was like a mic drop that you could do after that segment, you would do it. Like, oh, he just, he just did a spoon drop. We also have uh, two sauces that we pair with it. One is a house-made beer mustard, and the other is a mostada. Mostada is kind of an Italian version of chutney. Wow. So spoon drop and then slow clap. Amazing. Yeah. If you okay. wondered if this man knew what he was talking about, oh my God, I was re literally rendered speechless. Awesome. Thank Looking you very forward much. to spending the night with this guy. For the next two hours, we are going to be taking you inside the world of Vivo out here in Hawkstone. So wonderful, so beautiful, and my God, heck of a charcuterie platter right there. The quintessential, I'd say. You're in great hands here at Vivo. We'll be back.